Yo, yeah. Jess, check this out, bro. What are you doing there? Just uh, getting ready to cook. Yeah, I'm just saying. What's going on, everybody? Jesse James West here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day because you already know your boy is. Just because you clicked on this video, I truly love you. Tomorrow, we're going to waking up bright and early, eating, training, and living like the man, the myth, the legend. Arnold Schwarzenegger! Guys, I'm gonna be eating, training, and living like him in his golden days. And I'm in California. Does it get better than that? I don't think it works better than that. It's just perfect. And we will be going to Venice Beach tomorrow. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on post notifications, especially if you're new to the channel. I truly, truly appreciate each and every single one of you. I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning because I guess every celebrity wakes up early. You know, the successful people do just get up at the crack of dawn. So I'll see you guys then. Not gonna lie. Kind of wish I was waking up next to something that wasn't a camera. But 5 a.m. will do that to you. So I'm finally awake now, and one of the things that Arnold is very known for is meditation. So we're gonna dive into a little bit of a meditation session. Let's see how this thing goes. <sighs> All right, so it's now time for meal number one, and that is gonna consist of four eggs, a quarter cup of oats, honey, and two pieces of bacon. So as any good chef would say, let's get cooking, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for meal number one. The sun is finally peeking out because it's becoming a normal time. The oats and honey, give you a little taste test. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Then next up we have four eggs and two pieces of bacon. There is nothing like some lean meat in the mouth in the morning. Wait, little egg, little bacon action. I have not had real bacon in probably three years. Let's dive in, baby. You guys know the words, last bite, best bite. A lot quicker than I thought and not as filling. All right, so we're looking at a solid 33 grams of protein, 31 grams of carbohydrates, and 28 fat. Definitely high fat for a breakfast. Mr. Olympia, Mr. Arnold, I'm gonna listen to you and I'm gonna try it out for the day and see where it takes us. That was our pre-workout meal and we got a workout to hit. Just look at that morning beautiful sight of McDonald's, baby, let's go. You guys always ask me what the best pre-workout is and I got three options for you. One, anything Transparent Labs, code Jesse at checkout. Two. McDonald's coffee and three single moms. There's no caffeine even needed for those. Even though we had a little bit of coffee, we're gonna have just a, just, just a hair of some bulk pre-workout, okay? Code Jesse at checkout saves you 10% off, and then during my workout, I'm gonna have BCAAs. These don't get you cracked out. This might. Careful, my friends, especially if you're having as much coffee as me. Woo! We're gonna be doing Arnold Schwarzenegger's famous back and chest workout. It's a superset workout. I've literally never done this in my life. No tarps are on for the girls right now, but when they're coming off, it's for the boys. We're gonna try to get a nice sweat going. We're gonna start off with some heavy bench press and then going right into some wide grip pull-ups and just superset that back and forth. Let's dive into it, baby. Try this workout out. I'll put it on the screen. Hit that subscribe button in return for a free workout. I appreciate you guys. For these exercises, it's gonna be five sets, eight to 10 reps of bench press, and then five sets to failure on the pull-ups. Let's hit it. All right, guys, first set, we're doing 245 Super Saiyan with pull-ups. Let's get it. You got into my mind. You got into my mind. But all I ever wanted was you. But you left me alone inside this empty, broken walls that I can't see. It's clearly, but it's obvious. I know that you left me gonna lie that was actually way harder than I thought it was gonna be I have a crazy chest pump as you see and a back pump so I'm feeling like 245 pounds we're gonna dive into the next thing and it's gonna be a super set of incline barbell press and t-bar rows but they don't have that here so we're gonna do some dumbbell rows bent over bent over is the best way to hit it let's dive into it baby five sets again ten reps all I ever wanted was you but you left me That was literally the Arnold face.
doing is some seated cable rows for the back and some dumbbell flies. Ton of volume, but it's super good. Let's go. Tarps off for the boys, not for the girls. Try the underhand pull down super set with the dips, it's phenomenal. Now we're gonna do the classic Arnold dumbbell pullover and some cable flies. Let's dive into the last bit of the workout, kill it. It's absolutely kicking my ass. I have a crazy pump and I feel like, I feel, I'm Arnold now, right? Let's finish off. News, cause I know that they dump it. Nothing in my view, so it's hush on discussion. Hush on discussions, you know what you need to. I keep it in the band to let you know that I don't need you. Y'all cats be seeking, head not to peace. You been king, I'm regal, got it in my abyss. You came through dripping aquafina, I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. Blow make digits, I'm on my business, stack chicken like what it's gonna be. Everybody, that is gonna be a wrap on the Arnold Schwarzenegger famous chest and back workout. I feel amazing. It's like a full upper body workout, so just try it out and let's go get the next meal. All right, guys and galettes, it is time for our post-workout meal. So one thing Arnold always did was after his workouts, he would make sure he mixed up a nice cocktail. Actually, it was just protein powder and water. Down it like a champion. One scoop of ski for the boys back home, and then one scoop of ski of some creatine for the gals back home. And welcome back to another edition of Jesse's Kitchen. Tarps are off, socks are on. I told the last girl that because she didn't have socks on, I couldn't talk to her. Anyways, we're gonna be cooking up meal number three for Arnold's diet. It's a whole lot of meat. We have a mouth, you put it together, whole lot of meat in your mouth. So we're gonna have 10 ounces of some grilled fish. We're gonna have a cup of vegetables, a big salad, a little bit of syrup, and two sweet potatoes. And guys, you can actually microwave your sweet potatoes. You just toss them in there, poke some holes in it, and uh, it cooks, okay? It does, don't judge me. Let's cook this bad boy up, get eaten, cause your boy's hungry. <laughs> It is now time for meal number three, if you're counting meal number two as the protein shake. I don't know, but we have an amazing dish right here. Jesse's Kitchen never fails. Sweet potato, tilapia, and vegetables. We got 330 grams of sweet potato, 10 ounces of tilapia, and only one cup of vegetables. And then we have ourselves an extremely plain salad, but it is large and sometimes size matters. I guess I just said it, there it is, my friends. Let's dive into this bad boy, eat up, because we got things to do today. All right, we got a little taste test action. Wow. Okay. Oh, sh I'm telling you guys, if you put a little sugar-free syrup on your sweet potatoes with a little tiny bit of barbecue sauce, you will thank me later and you'll earn yourself a girlfriend. Last bite, let's make her just a wee bit wetter. Doesn't hurt anybody. Last bite. All right, so we're looking at 61 grams of protein, 79 carbs, and only seven fat. This time around, the fat was a lot lower compared to the breakfast, and I think that's just because of energy-wise, he wants to have more fats in the morning. And after your workout, having some simple carbs and protein for some quick digestion. We're gonna go head over to Venice Beach now, and I'm gonna go to one of the spots that Arnold always was at. So we're all showered up, we're about to head over to the beach, but before we go, we gotta make sure we put a little bit of white stuff on our cheeks. Never hurt nobody. Nothing beats a little Avril Lavigne before the beach, my friends. Wow, this coffee is kicking in!
Everybody, we are here at Muscle Beach right now, and as you see behind me, King himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. We're gonna be hitting a little posing session right now, and then I'm gonna show you guys actually the outdoor gym that Arnold trained at for years. So I think it's perfect because I am in Venice right now to be showing you guys this because it just makes sense. All right, so my friends are always telling me that I need to find the one. So what I think they mean by this is one, the one picture of Arnold or the one single mom that's gonna walk by and hopefully actually like me in return. So either way, we'll be perfect. Let's go, baby. You guys have no idea how weird this is. There's people literally driving by and I'm just here posing next to this thing. Did I do a good job? Yeah. Good? <laughs> Did this makes me Arnold's Arnold Jr.? Uh -huh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So we got Arnold there and then we got the new Arnold. Hold up. We literally just ran into this guy. Get to the chopper! <laughs> literally. <laughs> I'll be the Arnold Jr. Jr. <laughs> and then we got the Arnold Jr. I got right the, I'm the black Arnold. Do the bomb, I'm a junior, junior, you know? We're all gonna be Arnold. You just never know what you're gonna run into in California. We got the new young Arnold, and then we got the single moms watching us. <laughs> all right, guys, so we are at the Venice Muscle Beach. This is exactly where Arnold would work out back in the day in the 70s, getting his Arnold Golden Day workout. Cool place, cool vibe. I'm sure there's nothing like it. I just wanted to show you guys what Muscle Beach is all about. And for the final destination of today's little drive around, we got Gold's Gym. This is the actual Mecca Gym where Arnold trains, so it's super dope to stop by here see where it all has gone down I've been here before Ryan Dangler Ryan Casey and a few other people and I've worked out with the, with the famous gold gyms wall but yeah we're gonna head back to the house and get into the next meal <coughs> yeah all right Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves the next big thing. We got 12 ounces of lean meat, and now you know what else is 12 ounces of lean meat? Another one of these plates. One cup of broccoli and two cups of brown rice. We're keeping everything lean and healthy. We're gonna dive into this bad boy. I am ecstatic. I left it nice and bloody because if it's not messy in Jesse's kitchen, I don't know what you're doing here. Let's dive into it. It is now time to dig into a meatful dish. A little taste test for you. Not bad. This is what we're looking at. Left her nice and raw because raw is always better, my friends, when you're cooking your meat. That just sounds so weird. Let's dive in, folks. Midway through the meal, I clearly did not cook this enough, and the texture is way too familiar, so we're gonna go cook it thoroughly. Last bite, best bite, baby. And we have dessert. We have ourselves one more scoop of organic vegan protein. Arnold just loves having protein shakes, so let's have another one down the hatch. All right, guys, actually, hold on, I gotta put this, oh, definitely was not eating any French toast. Put that over there. Um, we're gonna go to a cryotherapy chamber. I've never done any of this in my life. But apparently Arnold's son is really into this and Arnold always focused on recovery as you see right here. But since we're not gonna do that activity, we're gonna go do some cryotherapy and focus on recovering the body in different ways. So I'll meet you guys over there. I'm gonna be in a robe, I'm gonna be decked out, I'm super pumped and uh, we'll see how long I can last. All right, here comes the most painful three minutes of my life. And no, I'm not talking about my ex-girlfriend. Welcome to Muscle Lab. Swing by some time. We're gonna be showing Jesse around the facility for the day. We're in for a treat. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Let's go. This is gonna be cold. Mask on, gloves on. You keep got keys it. into your keep. Let's go. And then you drop it in, okay? All right. And then shorts are five. No, no commando. <laughs> no, that'll be painful. It, it's already small enough. Let's do this. You already know I'm keeping this robe. <laughs> I am ready, let's do this. I'll be back. It's really, really cold in here, but it's good.
That was the most intense three minutes of my life. I feel, I feel good. Wow. It was hard, but like, that was good. Holy crap. Welcome back to another edition of Jesse's Kitchen. And today we are gonna be cooking up cottage cheese. One nut. We all know one nut's never enough. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to dive into a very weird dinner. We're finishing off the night. We got a bunch of nuts, cottage cheese, which is literally this entire container. I'm just gonna let that sink in. A massive amount of cottage cheese. Oh man, and you guys know I don't eat dairy. So uh, yeah, cheers to my stomach. You guys are gonna judge me hard, but when in doubt, toss some syrup on it. Having a bad date, toss some syrup on her. That might have not have been the move. All right, we're gonna put some nuts in her mouth. Which that's not bad. This little M&M's, it's like treating myself. But uh, yeah, we're gonna dive into this monstrosity. I normally say the wetter the better, but this case is just not, it's not it, man. This one's for the boys. All right, the last nuts. Now we gotta finish the cottage cheese. Last bite, I'm literally never eating cottage cheese ever again, but this is disgusting, literally. That literally just got worse the entire time. Whew. So for the last meal, we had 59 grams of protein, 37 carbs, and 62 fat. That was a heavily dense meal. Very, I don't even know what you're gonna call it. That's not a meal, that's a weird late night evening snack, but turned into a meal, because it's a ton of calories. Not too bad on the day for my calories, not too bad for that last meal. So for the daily macros, we had 277 grams of protein, 222 grams of carbohydrates, which is not a lot, and 114 fat. So as you see, Arnold does a high protein, high fat, low carb diet. It's kind of a thing that I've noticed with a lot of celebrities, a lot of different people that are that are pushing themselves to higher levels. So it's really interesting to see them deplete themselves of some carbs to have a higher protein diet. It's interesting, but I don't know if it works for me because your boy needs ice cream and your boy needs French toast. But that, my friends, is going to be a wrap on today's video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to show you guys what it was like for Arnold living and eating and training in Venice, California during the golden days. Those were the best days ever. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications if you're not already. And hit the like button if you're feeling generous. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you all for 163,000 subscribers blows my mind and you guys are seriously amazing we're heading home soon and leaving california but the trip and traveling will continue so just subscribe so that way you guys don't miss out i'll catch you in the next one don't forget to stay relentless peace